Hello, it's Nick and today I want to show you how to use component properties in Figma. I will create a button company that will have three properties. Hide or show icon, swap the icon and change text. Here I have three vector icons in a canvas. Each icon has the same dimensions, 18 by 18 pixels. Let's select text and type home. Change font to Roboto. Change the font size to 14 pixels and line spacing to 20 pixels. And align content to the center. Perfect, now we need to create our icon components. Select all three icons and click Create Multiple Components. You see that now we have three icons in the local components. Let's drag and drop the instance of the home icon to the canvas. Put the icon next to the label and align it vertically. Let's select both the icon and text label and group them. And apply Auto Layout for our group. Let's change the Auto Layout position to the center. We need to introduce a few minor changes to align the label and icon. Select the label and ensure the horizontal and vertical resizing is set to Hug. It allows us to change the text label without breaking the button. Select the icon and ensure you have a fixed dimensions for this element. Finally, select the frame and rename it to button. Change the horizontal and vertical alignment of the frame to fixed dimensions. And let's change the button dimensions to 100 by 40 pixels. Add a stroke of 1 pixels for the border and change the corner radius to 100 to create round button. Select our frame and turn it into a component to be able to use component properties. Now we are going to modify the properties. First, let's allow the swap of the icon for this component, so we will be able to choose the different icons for our button. We will use the swap instance property in the right panel for that. Let's change the property name to icon and in preferred values, let's add two more icons to our collection. Click Create Property. You will see a purple element in the right bar called icon. It means that Figma created a property and applied it to the selected layer. Now let's allow us to show a hide icon. Select the icon layer in the layer visibility settings, click Apply Boolean property. Name property to show icon and set the default value to true. It means that by default we will show the icon. Now let's make it possible to change the text label directly in the right sidebar. Select the text layer and in the text settings in the right panel, click Apply text property. Lastly, let's also allow to hide text. Similar to the icon layer, we need to select the text layer and in layer visibility section, Click Apply Visibility Property. It's time to test our design. Let's add three button instances to our canvas. Once we select the instances, we will see its properties in the right sidebar. Let's hide the icon in the first instance by setting Show Icon to False. For the second instance, we will hide the text. Set Show Text to False. And finally, for the last instance, let's change both the icon and text. For the icon, we will choose Profile and change the default text from home to profile. This is it. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.